Alright ADF fans, this video is going to show you how to connect to your ADLS Gen 2 storage accounts that are limited to access from selected networks. So in other words, here is how to have your data factory talk to an ADLS Gen 2 storage account that is not publicly accessible to all networks. So here is the Azure portal with my storage account called MAK ADLS G2B. This is my ADLS Gen 2 storage accounts and I have it set for selected networks. So let's go over to the data factory and here I have a delimited text data sets that I'm going to use with that storage account. And I call my link service connecting into that storage account as Azure Data Lake Storage for MSI. So that should trigger something in your mind which is that I'm calling it MSI because you need to use managed identity for this method to work. Uh, so managed identity auth is required from data factory to be able to use a private storage account for ADLS Gen 2. Now I call it for MSI just because I am slow to change and I have yet to start calling MSI managed identity but it's the same as managed identity. Now if you're using data factory today before we added the ability to use MSI like this with um, ADLS Gen 2 and you go to test your connection against a non-public storage account for ADLS Gen 2, you will get connection failed saying that you don't have permission. So the way to fix this is to go back into that storage account and do two things. The first thing is set the exception, use the checkbox for allow trusted Microsoft services to access the storage account. ADF is now a trusted service in Azure, so that will take care of connectivity into the storage accounts. And then the second thing to do, and then go to access control, what you have to do next is you need to give the factory permission at the ADLS Gen 2 storage account level. So this is a per factory permission that you're going to apply. And what you need to do is to set two role assignments. So you go to add role assignments and I'm going to set the storage data, the storage blob data reader and storage blob data contributor. So to get the name of your factory, you just take the name of your factory and what we do for you is on the link service itself. So this is my MAK ADLS Gen 2 uh, G2B that I'm connecting to using MSI, using <laughs> Manage Identity Auth. And we give you the name of the Manage Identity and the Object ID and App ID, all the GUIDs for Manage Identity. So I'm going to use the name MAK. ADF2, so back here, we will look for that in my Azure Active Directory, and it is right there. And the second permission, this was the uh, reader that I added, so you want to add storage blob data contributors. That's read and write for the storage blob for the factory. Okay, so both those roles have been added. We can verify that by looking up that factory for that storage accounts. And you can see that we have granted both reader and contributor for storage blob data. All right, so now we go back to our data factory and we click on test connection. And now that we have granted access, the connection is successful. And then what we can do is now we can browse and we can preview data. So we can browse that storage account as if it were publicly available. And we can even preview data in there as well. Let's do a quick, easy, simple test with the data flow. So movies bringing data in from my public blob. I'm going to land it into the ADLS Gen 2 MSI. Let's go ahead and run this from a pipeline. And 
and there it is that took 48 seconds and now we can go back to the storage account we'll go to the storage explorer and we will see the output folders that I created I have all of the CSV files I output there that's it that's how you can connect into a storage account 80 lost gen 2 from data factory that is not a publicly accessible network setting.